Hello, welcome back to Portugal and to the future location of our kitchen. It doesn't look much like a kitchen at the moment, but in some years it will be. And today we're going to be confirming our design for the kitchen because next week we've got Mark the electrician coming back and we're going to be putting in the sockets and the lighting and all the wiring for the various appliances. And so we want to make sure that we put all that stuff in the right place. And this is normally the kind of thing that we would just kind of crack on with and do and not put on camera because we don't think it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because we're never really sure how these things are going to unfold and we're never really sure how best to kind of document that experience. But we get a lot of questions about our process, our research, how we decide things, uh, why our plans change so much. And so we thought we would try and film this and kind of show you some of that process, some of the thinking behind what we're doing. I think we should caveat this whole thing with, this is our house and this is our kitchen and we're gonna do it the way that we wanna do it. So we've cleared the space and we've got an existing design that we're kind of working from, but I think we're gonna make a few modifications to it. Okay, here's the current design that we showed in a previous video. This is an app called SketchUp, which we use for designing and planning all sorts of things. And you can see here some of the, the major bits and pieces that we've placed in the room. This is after quite a few iterations and moving things around and trying to work out the best location for everything. So everything is to hand, but also in the most suitable location for how we want to use the space. So you can see over on the right hand side, we've got a space for a big range cooker. Under the window at the end of the room here, we've got a sink with a dishwasher that's gonna go underneath either to the right or the left. We're not 100% sure on that, so that's something that we'll try and work out today. On the left-hand side, we've got a bunch of tall units, including space for the fridge and the freezer and some storage space either side in terms of larder cupboards. Maybe we'll even build in all the way across the top. Maybe we'll even go floor to ceiling. Not entirely sure on that yet. We've got the infamous pole in the middle of the room, which is a bit of a love it or hate it situation, and then this breakfast bar. So what we've tried to do is work it all out. So we've got plenty of cupboard space, plenty of worktop space, and arrange everything kind of in the classic kitchen triangle where you can move between the sink and the cooker and the fridge. And I guess we could even add a fourth corner to this and say down to the worktop space as well. So everything is kind of easy to get to and easy to move around. This is the general design that we've settled on, but I think there are a couple of things that we want to tweak and we want to make sure that we can feel this in the space to make sure that we haven't overlooked anything. We do already know that there's a couple of things we're going to change from this. So let's head back to the kitchen and talk that through. Okay. So, do you so. Want, we have this <laughs> very empty space here. Hopefully yeah. people can make some sense of it. So a lot of people seem to think it's quite a small space. But the reason that it maybe feels big or small is because when you see it on a floor plan, you can't feel the space. And so that's one of the things we're also going to do is try and place the things and give them some height so that we can stand in here and see is there enough room to move or is there enough room if there were two people in the kitchen. Well, um, that rarely happens. <laughs> exactly. I try and stay at as much as possible. <laughs> um, so the current design and the way that we did the plumbing is for sure the sink and the dishwasher are going here. There is a question as to, so the floor level is going to go up to this. And so a dishwasher would actually fit in here, recessed into here, because like the other room, this is going to have what looks like a door from the outside, but is just going to have a large window portion of the door on the inside, and we're going to build into here. So we can recess the dishwasher into here, and then have the sink sitting over it so that all the services are kept in one place and that's kind of why that was designed that way. We have a large fridge and a large freezer which we were going to put here and that's because this wall or actually these three walls are going to be plastered and so for sockets and things would need to be on this wall and then on this wall which will be pointed we will have a massive range cooker for Guy to do all his magic. We were going to have this kind of in a round shape with a breakfast bar, bench, countertop thing. Yeah, not so much for sitting and eating at, but more as a prep space and, and a, a serving, serving space. space. And with a dining table there and uh, whatever this thing is here is going to integrate with this old pole. And I know loads of people think it's ugly, but we really like it. 
and it's our kitchen and we're doing things that we like and how we like to use a kitchen and diner. <laughs> so that was very diplomatic. <laughs> We've got some coloured cardboard so that we can cut out different appliances that we can then move around and then we'll try and lift them off the floor so that we can get the vertical space so that we can get the how it feels kind of at the right heights. Perfect. So let's try that. That's the perfect size. Nice. Mm -hmm. Move this fridge out of the way. <laughs> so when did you say the depth on this was? Six, nine, five, it's seven hundred? It's almost seven hundred, yeah. Okay, so the fridge is 650, 650. Mm. So if we build these in yeah. uh, a cabinet around, then it would probably come out to 700. So then the whole run could be. Yeah, because we've got that with this thing in the corner as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you so want to help me put these? Oh. Mm. Yeah, we do like that. Moving into the corner. Yeah. Well, I think we can shuffle this down because we've got this special thing in the but corner. We need to put the table here. Swing this in here. Watch out. I'm watching. You like that? Do you think the, uh, the range? Ones, yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit wider. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so maybe... I just need a... What is this one? Oh, this is the fridge and the freezer. I don't know which order they should go in. So, so there's going to be enough space behind here for all the pipe work. So I feel like the dishwasher should go there. Okay. Because then there's more space here to get the plumbing around. Oh, yeah. And then the sink can go and there. And the sink's over the top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a drying rack on the left over the top of it. Yeah. Oh, this is a big gap in the middle. Mm, right. Okay, so this is like the original plan. Pretty yeah, much. Exactly. So let me explain the pieces of cardboard that we've got. <laughs> <laughs> so the yellow one is Guy's range and the piece at the back, if you just come around here. Uh, yeah. At some point after the range we're going to curve the worktop in so that that's about 400 and that's going to go probably to where the end of this fridge is. And that's that. going to be like a tea and coffee station. Yeah, just in case it's not clear, the fridge freezer is not going to is be. not going to be there. <laughs> it's going to be on the other side of the room behind me. But it's full of stuff and very heavy and awkward. So yeah. we're leaving it there for now. And it's also where we have power at the moment. So just to recap, a small piece of worktop, forty with some, centimeters with some or four hundred mil cupboards underneath, and probably some exposed shelves with stuff and things, coffee mugs. <laughs> range. Yeah. And then there's a bit of worktop to the left of the range. Yeah, and in then an it L. will come around. And again, just base units. So this is <laughs> the sink. So the sink part will be there with the drying rack here. This would be the dishwasher. This gives us plenty of space in this L curve to run all the pipe work and the plumbing back to the grey water and the feeds in. And there'll be a window in front of you there. Yeah, so that's like on the other video, it'll be a door on the outside with the top half being glass. So that will come in, but underneath we will build the worktop all the way back into that recess and I'll put insulation in there. It means that we have the dishwasher with plenty of room, so I'll be able to stand here and pack it all from there. Um, in this corner, we're going to have 
We'll talk a bit about that a bit later because okay. it's a bit special. Something in the corner. This is a template for like the width of the fridge and the freezer. It's about the right depth. These will be full height. This small cabinet will also probably be full height. We'll see. This around to here. So this whole section will be full height, probably all the way to the ceiling so that we can get as much storage as possible. But everything else won't be, it'll be open. And then this kind of serving area slash breakfast bar thing. With the pole right here. With the pole. And the, the design isn't to be able to eat at it, it's more that when you're at the dining table there, someone can pass stuff across the table onto the table because we had a breakfast bar before and we didn't really use it very much and if we had additional people we could always add some chairs there because yeah. we have the chairs what i'm really surprised with having done this is the amount of space in here it's huge uh, just over two meters that direction i don't know if we've got the depth of this correct but let's um, say it's about right yeah let's say approximately and over two meters in that direction so that's a that's quite a bit of wasted space huge amount of space um, let's try this idea that we, where we run the, this table, down the middle. So that, like a... Like a traditional Like an island. island, yeah. Okay, let's try that. So we don't trip over that? Yeah. So we're going to spin, spin that way? Yeah. Looks fucking sweet. Yeah. 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 So if this was on this... No, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. <laughs> uh, can it go over that way a little bit more? Remember that fridge and freezer is not going to be there. It's going to be that. This is too tight. Definitely too tight. So that's 800. Measure it to that 400 over there. Okay. So this could go over a tiny bit more to make it equal on both sides. Okay. Like that. Right. So, so it, would see, be, yes. it would be longer on this side. Yeah. And then it would come to less than, if these two things were lining up. Yeah. Or there. Mm -hmm. I see. Nice. So what if it was that? 670. Okay. So it would be a single block of units so with the worked up on top? I think top. that's a bit weird. Do you not think that's weird? It's really hard to say with this here, so maybe we should take this out. Okay. And put a trestle or something under this. Yeah. Plenty of space there. There will be plenty of space when this is not in the way. Yeah, it may not be as long as that, no, but then it would look weird. If yeah. It's too small. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward space, isn't it? No, it's just going to be a spacious kitchen in the middle. I think I prefer it before. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, I mean, it's, space. it's no bad thing having space to move in here though. Yeah, and when the dishwasher door is down, yeah. or the oven door is down, then yeah. you've got a lot of space still for the oven door. the place. fridge doors yeah, are Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. okay. So I think the time has come to explain what we're planning to do in the corner of the room, and next why. to the fridge, and why. And this goes back to something that we found online, I think it was on Pinterest. Was it Pinterest? Anyway, I'll see if I can find a reference image for you so you can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. Um, but Kylie's going to explain her genius plan for the corner of the kitchen. The thing we're trying to solve for, which brought about this solution, is how we get the electrics into this room, how we hide them, and we're also going to have a secondary consumer unit in here. So rather than run, I don't know, three, four, five cables into this room, we're going to run one cable to a, like a mini consumer unit and then from there run the six feeds off of that or whatever it is. Um, because we need to have a separate feed for the dishwasher, we've got some outside lights, lots of sockets, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the range is also going to be on its own dedicated, very chunky cable. And we didn't want to have to drill into the stone walls to hide a consumer unit, so we needed a place that we can hide consumer unit that really is out of the way and that we're never going to access and so the perfect space for that is in these kind of units that are going to go up to the ceiling. Now we're going to expose most of this ceiling, the beams, so to get the cables in here there's already this little channel 
under the first joist so if we can run the cables from the next room into here and then drop them down into this corner this corner is a perfect place to put a little consumer box but more importantly it's the perfect place to put a larder exactly we would already when we first designed this we thought oh this this room's huge we we're going to partition off a section to have an actual walk-in pantry but turns out it's not that huge <laughs> and we're going to have another outdoor store area so i saw something that was very clever and i liked which is a big unit that has not the sh the shelves don't come to the depth of like where the doors are and you kind of can step into it and then you have a big wide set sort of shelving let section. me explain it in a sentence yes <laughs> it's a it's a walk-in larder cupboard yes maybe yes something <laughs> like that i mean subject to change of course uh so we can have the cables come in here can have a box up in the corner in the unit Make big space for food and for, for maybe some of our bigger appliances like the juicer, the food processor, the food processor, the Vitamix stuff that can sit down on the bottom. We will also have because storage is a concern. Um, as we said, there's going to be a small tower unit here, and that will probably have a pull out either individual sliding sections where you can have spices and things. There's going to be another one here. So either side of the fridge freezer. Yeah, so that the door doesn't kind of bang into that. And then this unit, which is going to be, what did we say? 700, 800 deep. We'll have drawers, which will probably have most of our pots and pans. Some if, of those will be hanging as well. Yeah, and if I can accommodate it, and we did this before at another property, on the other side, there'll also be like a shallow maybe 300 mil deep cupboard that's accessible from that side just to utilize the full depth of the breakfast bar so that solves that problem then we just need power here here that's the big cable and then some some sockets yeah, so maybe we should move on to working out where some of the smaller appliances will go so we can work out where we need to put the sockets. Yep, yeah, come down from here. From the consumer unit and across. And, across. and that's all going to be plastered, so that's yeah. fine. And then we can come down to like this height. Yeah, because then when we kind of pull the fridge out, you can still plug it in there. It's not awkward to have to bend down or anything. Yeah. And then we can go from So we can use this stone as a bit of a reference. Yeah. And then we can. So what I was thinking was if, if these ones are going to be above this, yeah. we would try and have them at the same height because then we can have the horizontal conduit in terms of, you know, safe zone time type of stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. So if we go for this height, or whatever the right height is to be, wherever yeah. we want the height of this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So a double socket there, run across. And then these ones will be like above the breakfast bar. Correct. Uh, for plugging things in. Music yeah. and, and we try and centre them under the hole. Yep. Because then we've got a reference to where it's going to go. Yeah. And then we go across, put another one in this dining area. Yeah, the dining area I think and we'll do separately. You can get one over there. Yep. Yeah. This corner I think is where the microwave is going to go. Yeah. So, so again, we'll come another across one. and drop down. Um, but I think we can fit coffee machine, kettle, toaster, juicer. Yeah, I mean, we're bringing it out to here, right? So it's yes. this much bench space, yeah, 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 absolutely. but not as deep. Yeah, so we can just line them all up. Yeah. Because then in, in the morning when you come down through the door, stick the kettle on, no yeah. worries. And those ones, we want the sockets under the cabinet. Yes, not visible. So we'll have this to is make pointed. a... What are those things called on the computer desks where they cut the holes and they have the little plates that sit in? Yeah, I know what you mean. Those things. I don't know if there's a word for it. Can you get the fridge freezer template? Yes. I don't know how big this table is going to be. <laughs> how big are you going to make it? Thank you. Not you and me, but if we ever have any friends come to visit. We have to make some friends first. <laughs> Can you stand there as if you're sitting kind of corner? 
So yeah. are we going to curve it? Yeah. Yeah. So that would, another person would fit there easily. Well, the table is too small to have two people because you would need this much space for a person's... Yes, but this table is not correct yet. So it's got to come out here and then yeah. it's got to go in that direction the same way. Okay, so this isn't a No, a it's fair... just a... Okay. But if it was from here, yeah. you could definitely fit. So stand there and be one person. I'm one person. Okay. Let me be another person. Because I am. Now go and sit, stand there. I think this is a bit tight, but... Well, we better not make so many friends then. Mm -hmm. A bit more. If we're sitting having dinner. No, they didn't want to be in one. This table's more. coming out more like here, yeah, right? Okay. And then if this bench seat goes all the way... Yeah. Then four people's... Yeah, yes, you could... would have to be cosy. Yeah, it would be cosy. But we so, can have chairs on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've just been talking about our dining room area which is not the most spacious in the world, but I would like you to think of it more as a breakfast table rather than some kind of grand banqueting hall, because it's definitely not that. There is only two of us. We don't take up that much space, although we do take up more space than we used to. Um, there is gonna be a, uh, a nice table in here, which we will make to fit the space in due course, but the majority of the seating is gonna be bench seats, one down that wall, one down the wall behind me. Uh, and then we can bring in some extra chairs if we ever want to have other people to sit at this table as well. But most of the kind of dining or supper clubbing, which is something that we might do in the future, the distant future, will be done outside in the large outdoor kitchen dining space, which we haven't built yet. But really the, the goal of today is to kind of make sure that we got a good feel for the space so that we can plan where all the electrics go, which I think we have now done, which is good. So, one of the things that we haven't talked about is an extractor. In our last property, we had an island where the hob was and we had a big extractor hood over it that didn't extract to the outside, but did some kind of... It was internal extraction. Yeah, and then it kind of pushed out cold, clean air. Um, and we have that option here, but this kitchen is going to be a little bit more like country house with a bit of a modern twist and so we don't want a big stainless steel glass thing uh, and to extract out through 600 mil stone wall is a pain in the butt and so instead we are going to install a ventilation system and the vent in this room will be an extractor somewhere up here and then in the dining room, there'll probably be a, a, a clean feed in. So that's how we're going to extract is through our ventilation system rather than an extractor hood that you would normally install. If you saw our earlier video where, and maybe we've put it in this video, where we did a bit of a floor plan and there was a sketch up, that sketch up really just shows the functional stuff. It doesn't show the design and aesthetic that we're going for. So all you would have seen in that is looks like really clean lines. It won't be like that at all. I really want the the kind of breakfast bar section to be um, live edge, so some timber. Not too sure what we're going to have around the sink, but it's all going to be custom built. Maybe not the carcasses, um, but all the doors and the worktop We'll have open shelves. It's going to be a bit more homely comfort feel. Um, mm. So not kind of the same feel that you get from looking at a SketchUp design. Mm. Modern farmhouse Modern would farmhouse. be a nice way to describe it. Um, what else? And I just wanted to mention to the person who said, is it cold in Portugal? It is cold in Portugal. We have no <laughs> heating in this house. It's about 12 degrees in here. I really feel the cold. So I wear a hat a lot. Plus, because showering is a bit of a pain in the cold, my hair doesn't get washed as often as it should. So <laughs> my hat is a great way to disguise my atrocious looking hair. <laughs> but um, it's not a fashion show. It is not a fashion it's show. It's real life. Look at my gloves. I mean, they're not a fashion show either. There was a lot of comments on the original video that we did showing the kitchen design about uh, cupboards and shelves and things. We will be having as many drawers and pullouts and ergonomic features as possible um, because squatting down and bending over is no fun when you're trying to cook. Cooking is difficult enough for me. The larder probably will just be shelves, step in, but then you just put on the bottom the things that you don't need that often. 
I'm also hoping to do kickboard storage so that um, it's like this deep then they'll just like little drawers that you kick and they come out nice you will have to bend over to get down to those because I can't design anything that lifts them off the floor <laughs> maybe I could <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> ridiculous um, grey water we'll go to our grey water harvesting system and people ask about oh, you shouldn't send kitchen waste to grey water we are going to have a what are they called? A grease trap. Yeah, we're going to put a grease trap under the sink. Um, there's these like commercial ones that you can get. You need to take them out every three months and clean them. But that will catch most of the food scraps and muck so that we don't get that going down the grey water pipe and getting all clogged up and stuff. Um, and of course, we'll also put a, a rod point down under there as well. So if, we, if it does get clogged up, we can clean it out. I'm still thinking about the ceiling. <laughs> Um, because getting a ventilation system and exposing timbers are kind of contradictory, but I will work it out. We will. So there we go. A little bit of a different kind of video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it interesting, or at least to see some of our thought process and some of the ways that we approach some of the problem solving here. Um, it certainly helped us to see the space and feel the space in like real time and real... Three. In 3D, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. And it's helped us make a couple of changes to the design uh, for the better, I think. So, we are nowhere near installing a kitchen, but we are very, <laughs> but we are one. <laughs> right? So far away. So far away. But we are at least one step closer to getting some power in here, and that will be happening at some point in a future video. So do stick around for that. But that is it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.